Hey guys, it's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do a first pencil close. You say, Andy, what is that? That's when you walk out to a client, you have your proposal, you have your numbers. I'm gonna teach you how to lay it down and the words that come out of your mouth before they even say anything, they matter so much. And I'm gonna show you exactly what to say. And if you say what I tell you to say, you're gonna close first pencils left and right. Check it out. All right guys, so here we go. This is a video that I love. Now, can I explain something before we go into this? Notice, my words flow like water. I believe in myself, I'm confident. Anytime I say something, it's not about what I say, it's also how I say it and I believe in what I'm saying. So you're going to have to emulate these same ways that I believe and these same ways that I talk. Does that make sense? Now I know you're you and I'm me, but I'm going to need you to believe in yourself when you come out. So. Number one, and by the way, the reason why I say that is because on a first pencil, normally the numbers are higher than what a client wants to pay. They are higher, okay? So when you go and lay that down and you walk out, what I notice is most salespeople's old butt puckers up a little bit, right? Because the clients told them what they wanted and then clearly what they wanted, this is higher, okay? So they're scared. They're afraid. And then I hear salespeople say, oh, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Dude, you're not scared, but you just lost your deal, okay? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Do you wanna learn how to close and be a master closer? If so, check this out. So. This was the way that my deals were penciled, that yours may be different. So normally, when I would get a pencil, the payments were always higher and they were on a shorter term. There was a lot of down payment on there and a lot of people didn't wanna put a lot of down payment down. So there was a lot of down payment on there. So what I decided to call this was the short-term equity. Okay, you ready? Short-term equity program. So write that down. Let's see if you're good at learning and you can memorize. You ready? Short-term equity program. And by the way, when I say short-term equity, what I mean is this, is it 60 months, is it 72 months, is it 84 months, is it 96 months? Short-term is all perception, okay? Like think about it, if I normally finance my cars on 96 months, well, if this is 72 months, well, this is short-term. And some of you may go, well, 72 months, that's long-term. That's where my haters are gonna come out. It's all perception, short-term, long-term, that's like, Financing a house, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years, okay? Everybody's term, it's perception. So I have a short-term equity program. That's what this is called. When I bring it out, I know exactly what I'm gonna say. And by the way, when do, and where do I say it? I get knee to knee with my client, okay? I'm not across the desk, I get knee to knee with them. Why? Because I'm going to say, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, I'm gonna go over this with you and I want you to interrupt me if you have any questions, is that okay? So I'm going to get next to you so I can explain it. Is that fair? Awesome. Now I'm here, now they're with me. Now I'm going to explain this knee to knee. By the way, what am I gonna say? Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, this is a short-term equity program. This is a program that most of my clients don't qualify for, but since you guys do, I'm going to show you. I wanna ask you a question. If you could have paid an additional $100 a month an additional 100 on the car that you're trading in today, and you guys would have had your car paid off right now, you wouldn't have owed any money on it. Would you have wanted the salesperson when you bought the last car to show you that option? Yes or no? Well, yeah, awesome, they just didn't show it to you, am I right? So what I wanna to do today is that I wanna show you all the options that you do qualify for, and even if it costs a little bit more money, you guys can't afford it, the banks wouldn't show you anything you can't afford, that way you see all the options, all right? Now, by the way, obviously, we know that your goal is to put the title back in your glove box faster. Now, I want you to write down what I already said. This is the advanced equity program. This is a program that allows you to get the title back in your glove box faster, write that down. Okay, notice we're paying on it shorter. What does shorter mean? All perception, it doesn't matter. I'm not getting into term on this video. Okay, it's all perception. Also, what do we say? This right here is what? It's the advanced equity program, which means what? There's going to be cash down on it. So I say this is the advanced equity program. This is a program that allows you to get your title in your glove box faster. Obviously, the bigger the payment you pay, the faster you pay your car off. Does that make sense? Awesome. Also, when you bought your last car, if the salesperson would have showed you that you could have paid an additional $100 a month and your car would have been paid off right now and you owed no money and it all would have been equity, would you have wanted them to show you that? 
Absolutely, but they probably didn't. So my goal is to show you all the options that you qualify for, okay? Now let's go through the key points, what you said. The advanced equity program is a program that allows you to get the title back in your glove box faster. Also, the bigger the payment you make, the faster you pay your car off. Now I'm prepping them for a bigger payment. Also, the salesperson, on the last car you bought, the one that you're trading in today, if you could have paid an additional $100 a month and your car would have been paid off right now, would you have wanted to see that option? Well, of course I would. I know, but they didn't show it to you. So anything that you qualify for, I want to show you. So you know what? All those things have to do with what? Bigger payments. I'm automatically raising the standard that bigger payments are good. Now when I turn it around and I show them this, I'm going to tell them this advanced equity program, this is a program that allows you to get the title back in your glove box faster. The bigger the payment you make, the bigger the one, the faster you pay your car off. Does that make sense? And then I go into the salesperson when he sold you that last, that last car, if you'd have paid an additional 100 and your car would have been paid off right now, would you want to see that option? Absolutely. So these options that you're looking at, you guys clearly make good money. You qualify to pay a monthly payment this way. And guess what? If I was to shake your hand at the lowest payment possible, that doesn't mean that you're getting the best deal. Okay, the bigger the payment you make, the faster you pay your car off. Trust me, if I was to shake your hand and you're financing a car for 30 years, that's not a good deal. So don't look at the payment, look at how can you get that title back in your glove box faster. Also this right here, this allows you to, to see the best way to buy a car, which to me is most important and a lot of people don't care about that. They're just trying to hit your payment needs and then at the end of the day, you're gonna trade it back in in a couple years and wherever you are in line with that car with what you owe versus what it's worth, they really don't care because they're normally not around. Guys, I'm going to be around. I'm not selling you one car. I'm selling you 31 cars. Now, presenting the pencil. Number one, raise the standard for what types of payments people should be paying. Number two, build confidence and belief in the client that they can make a bigger payment because they can. Hey, and by the way, for all my haters who are out there watching this and they're like, you guys are teaching people to lie. No, we're not. Listen, we teach people to present numbers that are attractive and that make sense. You know where the problem lies? The problem lies in salespeople not understanding that the clients, the customers, especially if you're a consumer watching this, that's blowing their money. If you go to Starbucks and you spend $7 on a coffee drink, okay, but yet you argued and fought for a $400 car payment, I want you to think about it. Well, $7 times 30 days in a month, that's $210 a month you're spending in coffee but you think your car's only worth 400 a month, but you'll give $210 to coffee? I think someone has a problem. So our goal is, is that we wanna to explain to people that listen to me, it's simple. You can afford $610 a month on a monthly payment. Literally, your coffee doesn't even matter. This car's more important than anything in the world. The most important purchase anybody in the world can ever make is a car. Why? Because if you have a house, right, you can't get to work with it, but you can get to work in your car. And if you can't get to work in your car, then you can't keep a house. So the car is the most important thing in the world. It's not even a house. The transportation needs of the world right now is the most massive, number one, most important thing ever. And automotive sales pros need to understand this, that if they get really good at presenting, speaking, talking, and I've laid out a lot of language for you right now to learn. So you go back, let's go, I said A to Z how to present a pencil. Number one, walk out with confidence, walk out with belief. It's very simple. When you lay it down, get knee to knee and get on the side. Okay, and you're going to say this is the advanced equity program if you would like to. This is a program that allows you to put the title back in your glove box faster and nod your head like this. Obviously, the bigger payment you make, the faster you pay your car off. Make sense? Yep. If the salesperson, when you, the vehicle that you're trading in today, if the salesperson, when you bought it, would have showed you an option to pay an additional $100 a month, more than you're paying now, but your car would have been paid off right now, would you have wanted to see it? I bet you would have. I'm sorry they didn't show that to you. Today, my job is to show you all of your options. That's very simple. It's easy. And then, by the way, how would I finish it? So write this down, finish it. Once you're done presenting, you're going to say this. And I apologize, I forgot to ask you, when did you wanna set your first payment due? Towards the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, what's gonna work best for you and your family? I'm gonna explain why I'm asking you this question. So I'm going to do a diversion, okay? These are the numbers, they are what they are. The vehicle's great, you're awesome, and I've got your back for life. Now that we know what the numbers are, I apologize, I forgot to ask you, when did you wanna set your first payment due? Towards the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, what's gonna work best for you and your family? And then be quiet. And if they say, well, I can't afford that, no problem. 
Okay, what do you, let me show you how affordable your new, your new payment is. Flip over the paper and go into a money justification close. If they say, oh, uh, during the middle of the month. Okay, cool, around the 10th or the 15th? Which one? Uh, 15th, cool, around the 15th, awesome. Sign right here, I'll get your new vehicle cleaned up for delivery. Thank you so much. It's that simple and you're done. I close more first pencils by doing what I just did right now and I'm gonna tell you why. Number one, payments are gonna be higher than the customers want. Period. End of story. Number two, customers blow money everywhere in this world on all kinds of stupid stuff that they could be putting towards a nicer vehicle. Okay? And they're not. You know why they're not? Because they don't have a pro to help them with their money. Okay, and then number three, I want you to think about something. These people, if you'll ask for it and you explain it right, there's a good chance they'll pay it. Life's gotten pretty expensive. People pay for great service. That's the way the world works. So if you do a good job and if you believe in yourself and you're really thorough in what you say, you're going to get a lot of first pencil signups. And then you'll divert and they'll apologize, forgot to ask you when do you want to set your first payment due. Towards the beginning of the month, middle of the month, what's going to work best for you and your family. Lastly, people are like, Andy, how do I know when their payment's going to be due? You don't. Most dealerships will give a client 30 to 45 days until their first payment. Does that make sense? So if today's the first of the month and I say, when would you like your first payment due? And they're like, towards the first of the month. Well, then I would do 30 days. And if they say, well, towards the middle of the month, then I would do 45 days. You get it? So when you go back to your manager, you say, hey, great news. I got them at 575 a month. They've got 3,000 down. And they said they want to do their first payment towards the beginning of the month. If we can make that happen. Woo! Write it up. That's how this deal rolls. All right. So if you're watching this video right now, number one, your goal is to take some ideas off how I showed you how I made 700 grand a year selling cars and the way that I present. A lot of people are said, lay it down, be quiet. I don't like that. The negotiation bell comes off, boom, man. Everybody starts chiming in. I don't like that. I like to stay in control. If you're watching this and you're not earning a half a million a year selling, that's 500 grand, not six figures, not 100 grand, but 500 grand. I want you to shoot me a text message right now. Write down this number, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. Shoot me a text message, say, Andy, tell me about Project 500, your training program that teaches salesmen to make a half a million a year. My name is Tom. I will personally reach out to you. Let's crush it, let's kill it. I got your back for life. Shoot me a text message. I can't wait to help you go to the top. Let's kill it. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.